The construction of this memorial lasted eight years and culminated in the 1922 unveiling ceremony, at which Abraham Lincoln's only surviving son, Robert Todd Lincoln, was actually present. Designed by architect Henry Bacon, the memorial was made to resemble the ancient Greek Parthenon Temple in Athens, the birthplace of democracy. This was to equate Lincoln's defense of American democracy with the very foundations of democracy itself. There are 36 columns surrounding the memorial, one for each state of the United States during the Civil War. The columns are topped with two rows of state names. The bottom row are those same 36 states, and the top row are the 48 states in the Union at the time of the unveiling. Beside each state is its entry into the Union inscribed with Roman numerals. There are four score and seven steps leading from the base of the reflecting pool on the National Mall to the entrance of Lincoln's Temple, a nod to the opening line of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Near the top of the steps, the spot is marked where Dr. King stood during his delivery of the I Have a Dream speech in 1963. Once inside the temple, visitors are impressed by a 19-foot-tall statue of President Lincoln depicted in Georgia marble. This creation by sculptor Daniel Chester French, called Abraham Lincoln, weighs 120 tons and features four prominent symbols. The first is the American flag upon which Lincoln sits. Next are the arms of the chair, bundled rods of Fosques, an ancient Roman symbol of unity. The final symbols are Lincoln's hands. One is clenched, signifying him as a strong wartime president, and the other is relaxed and open, an indication of his willingness to let southern states back into the Union after the Civil War. Famously, Lincoln would not get to oversee Reconstruction due to his assassination at the hands of John Wilkes Booth. As the visitor faces the statue, on the right-hand wall are chiseled the words of Lincoln's second inaugural address, a speech given mere weeks before his death. More sermon than speech, Lincoln's words are an elegant distillation of the Civil War's central cause, slavery, and the atonement for a great national sin. On the left is the Gettysburg Address, Lincoln's most famous speech, wherein the 16th president speaks to the importance of American democracy as perhaps the greatest hope for mankind on Earth. If you thought our virtual tour was interesting, you should join us for the real thing. Historic America has an amazing menu of in-person, multi-sensory tour experiences to choose from. Visit www.historicamerica.org today to learn more.